as good of a route as I've seen on film this year. All right. Lad McConkey, the 188th ranked wide receiver in his high school class. A lot has changed since then. He was the seventh most valuable wide receiver per PFF's wins above replacement metric in 2022. He ranked second in total touchdowns plus first downs in the SEC. And he was also top five in rushing yards out of all wide receivers. He did all that as a sophomore. And he's back this year leading Georgia to possibly another championship. Yet he's currently outside of the consensus top 10 wide receivers for next year's draft. Is he going to be the biggest steal in this year's class? Let's take a look at the film. First and 10 here versus Auburn. McConkey's working against off man as he's running an out route. The safety's going to end up driving on the inside receiver. So this play really plays out as single coverage. I gotta say McConkey might be my favorite route runner I've watched so far this year. Every cut and step he takes, he does in a threatening manner with clear purpose. And he's so twitchy in and out of his routes. He first leans inside here. Fakes inside, attacks the corner's feet, and makes it seem like he's going vertical before quickly turning outside. As good of a route as I've seen on film this year. There was no tell at any point that this was going to be an out route, which makes it really tough for the DB. Cover 2 pattern match look here from Auburn, and Ladd is going to be running a C route. So this is a great route to beat this coverage, as the outside corner is looking to trap any short outbreaking routes. Creating a small gap between him and the safety. Ladd just needs to keep the safety inside. He does a great job of opening up his hips inside and faking to that direction before breaking back out. He's also way too fast for this backer. He executes this play well and gives us some more teach tape. Manned up in soft press. Shows off great tempo off the snap. Immediately gaining leverage. Does a good job lowering his shoulder and then has amazing footwork and coordination between his hands and feet to swim by the DB while changing direction. He makes difficult moves look easy and has special change of direction ability. He does so much great work in the intermediate area of the field. Third and ten, got to make a play here, facing off man. The corner is going to try to use boundary leverage and force McConkey outside. But Lad's running a curl. He processes the coverage, quickly sits down while the corner is still on his inside hip. Gives the QB a window and then has the movement ability to quickly turn around after the catch and get some extra yardage. Impressive feel for space. And very good mental processing. Takes what the defense gives him and exploits it. Now, when he's so effective in the intermediate area, DBs can get aggressive. And look to cut him off, which opens up deeper routes. He runs a post here over the middle. The whole time he's releasing, he's reading the DB and feeling the space. He's threatening outside, getting the DB on his heels. And explodes out of his cut inside, creating a nice window. QB decides to take the underneath route, but McConkey was open in the back of the end zone. Just another example of how crafty he is as an operator. Soft press look here in the national championship game. We've seen that he can separate, but what can he do at the catch point? QB throws it up to him on a go route, shows off good speed, uses his hands to fight for position while tracking the ball, makes an insane adjustment and grab. The QB led him a bit too much to the sideline, but Ladd still shows off superstar talent to reel this in. And he can also get you tons of yards with the ball in his hands. First and goal here. Reverse end around toss. Defense looks like they have a beat on it. Linebacker has a chance to make a play. But McConkey is too shifty in the open field. Freezes the defender and stoles in for six. He's a versatile weapon. Play action boot to the flat on this play. Plenty of space for McConkey to operate. Hits a couple nasty dead leg juke moves. Gets low and shows off his explosiveness. He's the real deal. So, Lad McConkey, pretty damn good. He can win in all areas of the field. Very good route running. Super twitchy and reads coverage as well. Has an amazing feeling for space and how to attack defenses. Always keeps defenders guessing. Wins with his feet often, but is also efficient and effective with his mitts when fighting for leverage. Attacks the ball with his hands and adjusts well to passes. Sure-handed. Hard to stop in the open field. Super shifty and runs with great balance. Elite competitor as a receiver and a blocker. And tries to make an impact on every play. Overall, an amazing football player. This year's class is so crowded with wide receivers, but McConkey should be right there at the top. He might not be as physically gifted as some other guys, but he can play the position just as well as any of them. 
I think he's for sure a top 10 wide receiver and very well could be in the top five. He's that talented, and I'm excited to see where I'll have him by the end of the year. I give him a first round grade. Interested to see how he does at the combine and how his stock moves leading up to the draft. Those are my thoughts on Lad McConkey. Please let me know what you think about him in the comments and who you want to see in the next film session. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.